Uh, Hope Construction Materials was founded in January 2013. We have 170 plus sites across the UK and a workforce of around about 850 people plus a number of service partners who work with us on a daily basis. Uh, one of the, uh, the, the concerns when Hope was founded was really it would be a period of change and we were really conscious that we wanted to stay very focused on health and safety and make sure that we had the right safety culture from day one. We wanted Hope Construction Materials to aspire to be the best and the safest company in the industry and to do that we need to generate and create our own health and safety culture. Part of developing a health and safety culture and a strong health and safety culture is to have good leadership from the senior management team but also to get involvement and engagement from the entire workforce. Our CEO invited all the directors and senior managers of the business to become advocates for safety, to inspire people and to lead by example and to do that by going out on site, visiting all our sites and promoting safe working. So last year Every one of our sites was visited by a director of the company and we did over 1,100 hours of visible felt safety leadership out on site. Um, I'm charged with visiting sites all over the Hope Construction Materials uh, organisation. Um, that includes quarries and the ready mix concrete plants to carry out visible felt leadership um, tours. Um, from my point of view, they're very, very worthwhile, not only from uh, my perspective, where I get to learn about the organisation as a whole, but also it demonstrates that we, uh, that we lead from the front um, and we, uh, we uh, walk the talk. Uh, we meet up with our teams, hear what they have to say, understand their concerns and, uh, and empower them to put that right. Another key part of our developing a health and safety culture is to make sure that the workforce are fully involved. That's not just our direct employees, but all colleagues, service partners and our haulier population. What we'd like them to do is to intervene if they see unsafe conditions in their workplace and put those conditions right, or if they see people working in a way that puts their safety at risk, to intervene and protect them. And we call that welcome intervention and it's something that we've rolled out across our business. Not only that, but we want people to tell us when they've intervened so we can recognise and say thank you to people. And we ask that they fill in a card or a book to tell us what they've done to make their workplace a little bit safer. And we want people not to feel embarrassed about intervening, but to feel proud to intervene, knowing that they're looking after their colleagues and themselves and making their workplace an even safer place. To help get Welcome Intervention established and communicated across our business, some of the guys here at Hope Works produced a small short film that really explains what Welcome Intervention is about. The film is available on YouTube, so all our colleagues can access it, but more than that, anyone else in the industry who is interested can also access it and share it. So far, since we launched Welcome Intervention back in April this year, we've had more than 1,000 Welcome Interventions and any one of those Welcome Interventions may have prevented a lost time or serious injury. So by developing a safety culture that we can be proud of and we can involve everyone, we've had a pretty commendable safety performance to date and we want to continue to improve year on year and become safer and safer.